The collectible world of shiny Pokemon cards. Starting out in Neo Revelation and Neo Destiny, we had shining Pokemon. A lot of these Pokemon were covered in darkness in the artwork, which I guess does play into the mystery of shiny Pokemon at the time. The shining moniker did come back in the shining Legends set, but this was a whole 16 years after the fact, so I don't think these count as the same thing. The various EX sets brought back shinies under this new gold star name, and there were even some Delta species with types based on the shiny colors. Gen 4 made shinies a little bit less unique, no more shining or gold star, but they're still cool to see here. And Call of Legends gave us a lot of stunning shiny legends. But these cards ended up just being reprints of non-shiny variants. That continued in the black and white sets. Even to this day, most shiny cards are just variants. X and Y, again, had some reprints. But Steam Siege had these two typed Pokemon that happened to be shiny in their artwork. Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield were more of the same. But Sun and Moon had Hidden Fates and Sword and Shield had Shining Fates. Both of these sets had around 100 shinies in them. Around the end of the Sword and Shield era, Radiant Pokemon were introduced. Similar to the Shining and Gold Star Pokemon of old, only one per deck. And that's it for now. But hey, when Shining Fates 2 comes out, I'll be there to watch the scalping.